Okay, I saw there's been a lot of con comments and conversations going on about streaming and the Ford Lightning. Uh, I wanted to share what I do. Um, this will allow you to stream some video services on the screen, also to do some really cool um, stuff with YouTube, that sort of stuff, so you can watch videos while you are waiting for your vehicle to charge. Uh, most of these things only work while the car is in park. However, some of them do work while it's in drive. I know that all of you are adults, so please um, do not drive with TV on uh, in your car. You know, hopefully everybody's um, you know good enough to not do that. But if you do, it's on you, not me. Uh, same thing with all this stuff. You know, no warranties or anything that this stuff works. But I wanted to share what I do. Uh, so first off, if you're an Android user, this is for you. Uh, I have both an Android phone and an iPhone. Uh, iPhones are just so locked down and have so many kind of nanny blocks on them that I'm reasonably sure you would have to jailbreak it to do anything like this. Uh, I know you can buy some boxes that cost three or four hundred dollars to get around it, but uh, largely on Android, the truck runs on Android. You know, phones run on Android. There's lots of stuff you can do with it. Uh, you do not need to be rooted on Android. This is all stuff that you can uh, install without root. So keep that in mind. Um, and But what you will need to do is, um, hopefully all of you Android users know how to do these sort of things, but if you don't, let me know and I can do a more detailed tutorial on this. But you are going to have to go into settings, go into developer mode. Um, you can look up how to do that if you don't know. Once you're in developer mode, you need to check the boxes for unknown sources for installing applications. You need to check the box for uh, USB debugging. And I believe there's another box in there. I think it's GPU um, debugging, that sort of thing. So those all need to be checked to make this work. Um, the core behind all of this is an application called AA Store or Android Auto Store. You can find it on GitHub. Uh, they've got uh, APK that you can sideload to so just go on your Android phone, go to GitHub, find that store, uh, click on the raw download, you'll get an APK, install that, should install fine if you've got, um, you know, unknown sources turned on. Um, on top of that, you need to um, give it permissions. There's a few permissions that allow it to install apps. So all these apps, I believe, are on that store. There's some of these I used before, but I think they're all on the store now. Um, and so let me run through them real quick. I'll try to keep the video short. Uh, again, if you want more details, let me know, and I can jump in and share them with you. should work on uh, Lightning, uh, Mach, Mustang Mach, um, probably even the latest you know, F-150s. I know it works on Broncos. Uh, works on my son's Rebel uh, from Ram, so this should work on most Android Auto things. You can see in here that some apps that probably you don't have uh, unless you've done this stuff before. AA Mirror simply allows you to mirror your screen. It has some limitations. Uh, no touch screen. If you try to watch copyrighted content, like something you have a service for, like Netflix, um, you know... Uh, Disney Plus, those sort of things. So you're just going to get a black screen. You'll probably be able to hear it. Uh, you can watch YouTube on it, but no touch screen. It's kind of a kludgy thing. You have to control it from your phone. It's not ideal. Uh, in this application, um, you can actually download something called CarStream, uh, which is essentially, you know, YouTube for your um, car here. And this is, you know, touch screen uh, enabled. So you can use it just like you use YouTube. In fact, I'll give a demo here. I go into the library uh, and use one of my own videos so I don't break anybody's copyright. Uh, find something that's got a decent quality on it. Uh, you just click on the video. Uh, the video will play and you can get in here just like you would uh, on YouTube. You've got settings where you can control the quality, that sort of thing. You can put it in full screen mode uh, like you would in YouTube. Um, again, some limitations of screen size, but this is very, very watchable. Um, you know, the video quality is good. There's no lag and, uh, you know, sounds really good. Uh, so it works really well and pretty cool service. 
it um, you know it's called CarStream, and if you've got the latest, you can see I'm running a Note 20, so the latest version of Android available to it, and latest version of Android Auto. This is all working and working quite well. Um, if you go back to your list of apps, another app I will uh, share with you is this uh, IP Car TV. So this allows you to watch streaming uh, car channels. Uh, you have to go put lists on here. The developer, I think, limits it to four. I live in Texas, so I loaded a Texas list that I found under uh, GitHub for IP um, TV. Uh, sorry, a lot of my sources are GitHub. I'm an IT uh, person, so uh, we use GitHub for a lot of stuff. So it's usually where you can find the original software of all these places versus you know counting on somebody else to give you a download. The way this works, though, uh, it's limited to just four for um, shortcuts right now it takes you in and IPTV stuff you can actually see um, you know a lot of uh, different local channels and that sort of stuff yeah, go Cowboys beat the Giants today uh, and so this is our local ABC you know here in town um, and so you can watch live TV with this sort of thing uh, I believe the developer uh, it looked like it said for five dollars you can unlock unlimited uh, playlists and that sort of stuff. So yeah, I actually I think it was five euros. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, but this looks really cool. Um, I just kind of put it on here today just to see what it was and played around with it. But uh, certainly uh, could help pass some time uh, while you're out and about. Um, okay, uh, next up is it has the ability to do these. Uh, really cool um, kind of link to video thing. So you can go in and say you've got an app like um, Amazon Prime Video. You've got a URL. You can go get that URL, sign in, um, you know, to your personal account, and then you're actually in that, um, you know, video. This is kind of running like a, a web page, if you would in there and so you can come in here and click on movies um the old venerable classic the water boy with adam sandler um kids and i have had some fun with that movie um they thought it was hilarious but this allows you to kind of stream uh those sort of uh movies this will not work while the vehicle's in motion so if you put it into drive um you will get a message um kind of blocking you here yeah i said that and then it did work so it's not supposed to work while you're drive. Uh, maybe it's because i was already in the movie um, or maybe i need to get into motion and it would stop working i think that's probably it um, but these these are really cool uh, features i tried several of them on there once you put these in you can't take them out so uh, keep that in mind uh, ca2 is netflix uh, it does not work. You get a black screen on it, and this is Voodoo black screen. This is TikTok that does work, and then this is Disney, uh, and it works um, as well. Same sort of thing. Loads the website up. Uh, you're signed in, so you can get to your content and you know be able to stream uh, stream movies. Um, again, I, I don't believe this works while you're in motion uh, at least it shouldn't um, but nonetheless uh, that's kind of it there's a couple of other apps uh, that are on here that I thought are pretty cool if anybody wants more information or more details on how to do these this local video app was pretty cool uh, it allows you to actually share video 